Hi, y'all. Uh, this is going to be a bonus reading just because I feel like I want to do something a little extra, a little different for you guys. Um, Hall Halloween is coming up, and that's October 31st, and I don't know all the history and all that. I just, what I've understood is that the veil is thinnest on that day between our world and the other world. So with that coming up, we all have loved ones on the other side that we would love to hear from and that we would love to talk to. So I'm going to pull three different collective messages. And the way you're going to decide which message uh, is yours is that the energies that I'm going to pull, the three different energies I'm going to pull are going to be related to you. So, um, if whatever energy you resonate with, then that message under that energy is going to be uh, most likely your message from the other side, from somebody you love on the other side. So, let's not pick a card, let's pick an energy. Pick an energy that most relates to you. That's how we're going to pull them out, the energies. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, we thank you for the tarot as a tool. And we thank you that we can even use the tarot to be able to communicate with loved ones from the other side. We ask you right now to show us the energies of the collective group of people that are that will be receiving messages today from their loved ones on the other side. We understand that everything is energy. And we understand that there are collectives of us that have similar energies and would have similar messages from a group of loved ones on the other side. So show us clearly what are the energies of the groups that you'll be speaking with today. Okay, so the first energy is firm foundation. So if you are, uh, perhaps if you have been working on clearing your uh, root chakra with traditional beliefs and uh, unhealthy beliefs maybe that no longer serve you and you've been struggling with this somehow this could be a, a message for you if you are working on building a firm foundation uh, for a family or for a business or something like that this could be for you okay the next energy is authority so that is the, the four card, the empress. I feel like this is going to be somebody who is putting, who is uh, running a company or running a, an institution or an organization or stepping into their, uh, their authority, right? Stepping into their authority as maybe a new, you just got a new promotion or something along those lines. Remember, these are general. So anything that kind of relates to that energy of stepping into your power, stepping into your authority, this would be your message. And the last one is the crown chakra. So if you feel like you've been receiving messages, um, downloads, things like that, if you feel like uh, if you've been working on developing your spiritual gifts, if you have been in the process of um, clearing your crown chakra or anything like that, then this message would be for you. So we're going to start with firm foundation. And I'm sure somebody, this will be a long reading, so I'm sure somebody in the group out there will be kind enough to timestamp so you'll know when your energy starts, when the energy for your reading starts. So we're going to do the collective group that, that relates to this card, the firm foundation. We're going to do this group first. Then we're going to do the group who relate to the card of authority. And then the group that relate to the card of crown chakra. And I'm saying cards because I have cards, but the energies, those energies, whatever they are for you. Okay, so I hadn't thought this out. I'm kind of winging it as I go. And we're going to look at... Um, we're going to ask, what is the message? We're going to pull one card under this one. What is the overall or overarching theme of the message? And then the three cards under it will actually be the message. And then we'll get a PS from each one. 
Okay, God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Again, we thank you for the tarot as a tool, and we thank you that we are able to... Um, to ask and to and to receive messages and sometimes whenever we can't do it on our own we love to get the little extra messages from the tarot and uh, from you guys through the tarot so give us clear um, indication what is the overall arcing theme of this message anybody dealing with anybody relating to firm foundation whether they're clearing uh, old traditions uh, they're clearing their root their root chakra whether they're working on that energy or whether they're building some kind of new firm foundation for their life which actually could be the same thing um, show us clearly what is the overarching message and then what are the what is the body of the message we're going to use the arcanum tarot to do this I'm cutting Okay, so the overarching message is Nine of Swords. And the body of the message is Six of Wands, Justice, and the Will. So what I'm seeing here is this, this message whether you're building a new firm foundation or you're trying to clear that root chakra, clearing uh, traditional beliefs that no longer serve you, whichever the case may be, they're saying that you're worrying too much about it, okay? You've got some unfounded worry where this is concerned. I feel really, really heavily towards somebody who is trying to walk past or out of traditions that they grew up with. Sometimes this is religious tradition. Sometimes it's just about the way we have to work, uh, the way we have to show up in the world, the way we're expected to show up in the world, those types of things. And I feel like your loved one, whoever's on the other side, and, and you're going to feel who, who that energy is while we're having this conversation, I feel like they're telling you you're worrying too much. It's, it's not... Um, It's not a worry that's going to serve you, okay? You're you're um, you're allowing your mind to play tricks on you. You're amount, allowing your thoughts to try to keep you imprisoned here, some in some way. And they're saying this is not this is not the energy they want you to be in, okay? So where do they want you to be? What is the message here? The message here is that. They are actually looking at you and seeing as like this is a victory for you because the fact that you're working on this, they feel like you have broken the chains that bind you. The fact that you're moving in this direction, they're seeing you already as a winner. They're saying that they're saying that that you're going to lead the way for others. Um, in your family, in your in your group of friends, in that area of your life, you're going to actually lead the way, bringing other people also out of the chains that bind them, the bondage of thinking that you have to show up this way or that way, or or um, whatever traditional religious beliefs are that you might have had that have kept you uh, in fear of. of bondage and and of not being being able to be who you are they're seeing you are already walking in victory just by the sheer fact that this is that that you have started clearing those energies in your root chakra or that you have broken the chains of poverty in your family and you've started your own business or whatever that thing is that from from your past you should never be where you are right now and but you're doing it and but you're kind of worried about it and they're saying no you're already in victory just the first step out of the gate you have become victorious and then I'm getting this card here, which is the justice card. Okay, so it's like this is this is a time of balance. This is a time whenever you bring things into balance. You break the old karmic cycles. You 
by again by walking forward in this area that you're walking forward in you're breaking the karmic cycles you're breaking the the karmic hold that has been that has held i'm hearing for generations in your family that has held people back for generations you're breaking that you're bringing justice to this situation uh i'm hearing generational curses away with no more you're breaking those cycles and this is about truth right look at this the, these three cards are all this is the card on top this is the card underneath card underneath and that's underneath that that's how they're laid out on my table so basically what it's saying is these these worries are unfounded they want you to stand in the truth that you've understand again you're already in victory just by walking out and they're saying this is the truth this is the truth of the way it should be I know it's scary I know you don't understand it necessarily but listen for me because I'm guiding you that's what they're saying listen for me because I'm guiding you you don't have to know the end you don't have to know the steps I'm with you in this the scales you're you're balancing the scales for this you're balancing the scales for this lineage you're bringing you're bringing freedom to the generations that'll come after you And you're doing it with grace and beauty. You're bringing justice to your descendants that you'll never even know. Continue to walk forward. You, you actually made this choice before you came here that you were going to be the one to break those chains that you were going to be the one to break that curse that generational curse that you were going to be the path the way shower the path finder the trend setter you came here with that purpose in mind and now you have found you have found your way onto the path to to set you up to do that and that's why this card was the first one out of the gate because they said just the very fact that you broke yourself out of those chains that have bound so many in your lineage that in itself is victory and as you continue to move forward here's more victory where this is see this this color right here this card is red so many different ways for me it depends on where it shows up and what the message I'm getting is and right now I'm getting is this is you have stood up to this wheel you have taken your you've put your hands on this wheel of of showing a new way and you've gone to work in this area of your life right where you are taking this and you're transmuting that energy that old energy from that root chakra and and you're bringing it into a new lighter a uh, freer more abundant way of life and more abundant it's not just about money it's about freedom it's about walking in your strength and walking in your power so yeah so if you had firm foundation that is your message we're going to get a real quick ps beautiful god guides angels archangels holy spirit with the help of this loved one or this group of loved ones bringing this message to their family members show us the ps please show us the ps that goes along with this particular reading shows the PS for this group of people who chose firm foundation as the energy they most relate to please 
We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. And thank you for the PS. Okay. So we have Knight of knight of swords so so they're they're saying here's here's your ps these swords that are keeping you up at night you're you're going to overcome that they don't want you worrying about that they want you to put those down and walk in this truth do 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 what you came here to do because you signed up for it. You decided you want to do that. That's what you were coming here for. The the way shower, the, the pathfinder, the trendsetter. That's that's what you came here to do, to break those binds that have those chains that have bound your family forever. And and so that's what they're saying. Here's the PS. You are the truth bearer. You're going forth with the truth of of our true identity, of who we all truly are, and what our um, strengths, what our powers are. Wow. And another night, the night of wands, and you're bringing it forth with a lot of passion. You're bringing it forth with um, passion and determination and and the wands for me are all about the spiritual uh, connecting with the other side so your loved ones are constantly feeding you and and um, and giving you little signs about where to go next and how to do this and what to do that so whenever you're worrying uh, they can't get to you because they're they're constantly trying to be in communication with you look and here's the the Empress so they're saying not only were you again you you gave yourself this this experience before you ever came here but you are bringing it into your reality you have spent years and years and years allowing it to gestate inside of you little things that needed to happen along your path for you to become who you are today to go out and bring this truth in a very inspired and passionate manner. You have been doing all that and now is your time. They're saying now is your time. The gestation period is over and they're ready for you to bring it into this reality and they're right here with you every single step of the way. Okay, so if that was your your energy, then uh, that's your message. I hope that it... Um, like I said, this is a new way for me to do something here. I hope that that you connected with it. Let me know in the comments. Again, I'm sure somebody out there is putting the um, timestamps of when each reading starts. I don't even know that I know how to do that. Um, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. We're pulling these cards right back in and shuffling them. And then we're going to go on with the next message, which is authority. So whoever had authority... As the energy that they related with, that is the energy that we're doing next as I put these in and shuffle them. Listen, I want to thank you guys for subscribing, the likes, the comments, the shares, all that stuff. Y'all are absolutely awesome. I'm working on some new things to bring to you guys. Um, we will have, we'll continue to do daily mail and we will also be having... Um, the weekly readings and I've tried to put I put a schedule up for beginning in November and um, I don't know how well I'll be able to follow it but I'm gonna try my best to stick to that schedule okay so I'm just shuffling these from the last uh, reading and I'm sorry I don't I don't know how to edit these videos to like pull all that out so just go with the time step stamp Authority. This is the message for the group that connected with the energy of authority. Um, and we're going to see what it is. Remember, the first card out is the overarching uh, message. What is our overarching message? And then the three cards after that are the body of the message. And then we'll do a PS also. Okay, so for the collective that resonates with the energy of authority show us 
from their loved ones on the other side, the collective energies of their loved ones on the other side. What is the message for our friends in the collective who resonate with the energy of authority? Whether they're uh, building a new company, stepping into a new position, uh, stepping into their power, their personal power, whatever it is, show us what are the messages from their loved ones on the other side. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay, guys, let's see. Tell me what y'all think about these readings, please. Okay. Two of Pentacles. It's an overall, uh, overarching message. Four of Wands. The Emperor and the Page of Cups. Okay, so this is what they're saying. Remember, the overarching authority is authority. This is the energy that you're resonating with. So, and it is actually the same card as the Emperor, right? From foundations, building something up, uh, in, in embodying the energies of all the kings, taking a promotion, stepping up in, in what it is that you're doing, starting your own business, all those kinds of things. So the overall answer, the overall message from your loved ones is balance. Um, and they're saying that they're, they're saying with this card that they're actually watching you balance this in an incredible way. And they see that you're doing it. You're, you're rather, um, skilled in your ability to walk into this new venture, whether it's a, a new job, um, whether it is a, a new company, a new position at your company, a new something that you're starting, or you're stepping into your personal power, whatever it is, they're watching you and they're saying that you are uh, incredibly, you're doing a great job. In other words, you're doing a great job. You're incredibly skilled. They're watching you. You look so skilled. You're making it look so easy. You're making it look like, hey, look, mom, no hands, right? Uh, and they're proud of you. They, they have joy. It's like pure joy when they watch you. It's They're they so full and so... Um, mm, proud so full and so proud as they watch you step into this next phase of your life. So this is the, the, uh, the four of wands. So in a love reading, this would talk about uh, a marriage possibly or twin flames or something like that. But this is a message from our other side. Okay. For some of you, it is from somebody who was a soulmate or a loved one, uh, I mean, a love of your life kind of person or or an incredible business partner that you had at one time or so there was a super, super close connection between you and this person. And they're saying right here that they are so incredibly honored that you're moving forward that you're moving forward and honoring them by living your best life. They're saying that the very best, the very best way to honor them is in fact exactly what you're doing. You're living your best life. You're standing in your strength. You are, uh, you are remembering them. <coughs> Excuse me. When you think of them, you're thinking of them in ways like, God, I wish you were here. I wish you were here to enjoy this with me. That's what, that's how they feel. That's how they feel you. That they're so thankful that you've gotten past the grief part and that you've hooked on to your strength. And the strength that y'all had in each other and with each other. And they're ecstatic 
as they watch you. This card right here it doesn't even begin to really express from them how proud they are of you right now. And this card either, they're saying, they're laughing. This card either doesn't really express exactly how proud they are of you and exactly how much joy they have as they watch you. They're saying this, this energy that you felt, you felt it because it is who you are. They're saying it is who you are. Male, female, this is not gender specific. This is who you are. You absolutely embody the uh, qualities of every single king out there. You are so resourceful. Yes, you're so resourceful. You're emotionally intelligent. And you're so balanced even when it comes to remembering them and thinking about them. And, and they love that. They love that you have allowed your heart to be full again as you walk forward in, on this journey. Um, and, they, and you're smart enough to do it. And you're, and you're inspired. You're always inspired. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Some there's a split message here. Some of them are saying that that this is they feel they feel this way when they watch you. They feel like this young, like it's you bring back the the feelings of the beginning with with y'all. You bring back the feelings of um, of youth and excitement. It's this. It's it's part of this energy. Like it's uh, when they watch you live your life every day it, it reminds them of y'all's younger days or the younger days and for some of you they're saying there's a new love coming and he's or she it, the other person is going to remind you of them and y'all's younger days and it's a solid relationship it's going to be a solid relationship and it's going to be it's going to make you feel like your cup runneth over you're gonna you're gonna say never in my wildest dreams did i ever think i would have a relationship like this again ever never did I think that would happen and they're saying this is going to be a true and a solid relationship again none of this is gender specific we're going to pull the PS <coughs> sorry wow guys God guides angels archangels holy spirit I thank you so much for these messages I thank you for connecting these loved ones through the through the messages in the cards and I thank you for the PS show us clear and concise messages clarification confirmation and validation as you connect with their loved ones and bring this PS on this message here's the page of swords The Page of Swords is a, is a younger energy who brings forth truth, right? Um, he brings forth truth, and he and he and he relies on uh, he relies on facts and and um, like no BS. There's no BS. And they're saying that they've watched you kind of move forward like that since they've been gone. They've watched you move forward with just no BS. You you have you have moved past your grief. You've moved past not that you don't miss them because you still love them and you still miss them and they feel you. But you have been able to walk forward in your truth, 
in your power by moving past the, uh, by not allowing those emotions to, to smother you. And that's part of why they are so proud of you because you've been able to find that balance where you can love them and honor them and continue to move forward. Okay, so this is saying that there's some kind of choice that may be coming up. Okay, if it if it's having to do with this energy that's going to be coming into your life, and what they're saying is it'll be scary, but re remember your truth, right? And and you'll know they're the one because they won't bring in the BS. They won't bring in the. Uh, Blow and smoke up your butt and stuff, uh, and it and it's going to be scary, right? And and it's your choice. It's coming, but it's your choice. That's what they're saying. It's your choice. And they're saying that that your life, you create your life as you see fit. They're behind you one hundred percent. In every step of the way, whatever you choose, they are watching you uh, move on from the grief and move on from the uh, move on from them. And they're saying that might not be the right word, but you're you're moving on from from allowing the grief to keep you captive, and you have, and you have birthed a new life for yourself, and they are so again so proud that you can balance your love for them and your need to move forward. Okay. That's the message for anybody who resonated with this energy, the energy of the emperor. Whew, guys, I can't do these every day. Um, okay, so now we're moving on to the last energy, the energy of the whoever resonated with the crown chakra that you're developing spiritually, uh, some gifts. You feel like you've been getting downloads. Perhaps you already feel like you're in communication with them or them or anybody on the other side. Okay. <coughs> Again, I don't I don't uh, I don't have editing skills yet. I get frustrated trying to figure it out. So you can fast forward through the shuffling. Uh, there's timestamps. I'm sure somebody has been generous enough to timestamp it. If I can figure it out, I will also timestamp it. Okay. So those who resonated with the energies of the crown chakra, spiritual growth, uh, spiritual gift development, any of that stuff. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, we thank you for connecting with the collective energies of all those here who resonated with the crown chakra energy. We thank you for clear and concise messages from their loved ones. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. We thank you for clear and concise messages and we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation as we bring these two worlds together and bring the messages from the collective on the other side to the collective here who resonates with the energy of the crown chakra, spiritual development, spiritual gifts. Okay, so the overall, wow, the overall message is about defeat and the body of the message is eight of pentacles the hanged man <laughs> and the ten of pentacles okay so their message is here 
that they they said they're saying they don't want you to feel defeated you're not defeated in this i feel like they're talking to the, the this is a collective of people the people who've resonated with this energy um your your loved ones on the other side are saying you, you know, you it's like you make a few steps forward and then you feel, okay, now I'm making this all up. You feel defeated. There's something mentally you're telling yourself, uh, asking yourself, is this real? Uh, mentally, you're asking yourself or telling yourself, uh, why would why would you get these gifts? Uh, mentally, you're, you've, you're in conflict about it. You're, you're in the process of growing it or developing it or on that uh, on that journey but there's a little bit of conflict there there's every now and then you question yourself like what especially whenever you hear a message from the other side whether it's audibly whether you get a little picture or a little movie in your mind's eye or whether a thought just drops in uh, and you're like where did that come from it's like sometimes you just you just dismiss it, right? Because and it's and it's you're feeling not defeated. That's a strong word. They're saying defeated is a strong word, but conflicted, conflicted a little bit. So they're saying, "No, baby." <laughs> That's what I heard. No, baby, you're very, uh, you're very studious about this. Okay, you're very. Um, competent to understand the messages you're very competent to understand your mentors you're very competent to understand um everything that you've been learning and reading and and studying about this and they're saying you pay attention to the details just continue to pay attention to the details and even the small minute uh, messages or things that don't seem significant to other people pay attention to those too the details are very important they're saying the details are very important the details that are showing up for you are very important not necessarily it's not necessarily gonna be what what um, what other people are getting what they're saying okay <laughs> they're saying Pay attention to these things that happen for you because they might not be the same as what is happening for your friend in the same class or what's happening for um, your mentor. The way your mentor receives it might not quite be the same way that you're going to receive it. So they're saying pay attention to the details. Let your own life and your own experiences be your teacher. And, and whenever you do that, then you're going to be able to you're going to be able to go from student to teacher, and then from teacher to student. It's like it's it's always learning and teaching all the time. The cycle doesn't ever stop. So just continue to walk forward and pay attention to that. This is a success, a court of success. You're on the right track. They're saying you're on the right track. They want you to quit. They're fussing at you. <laughs> they want you to quit playing these mind games with yourself. They're saying you're on the right track. You're doing just fine. They said it might be good for you to step back a little bit and pause and think about different things in your life that have showed you or that you have thought, oh, wow, or that have showed you that that you um, that you've that you've actually had this ability all along. They're saying you've actually had this ability all along. We're all born with it. We all actually have it. Some of us in early childhood have pretty ex extensive experiences where it's like, oh, wow, and somebody will tell us, no, don't do that. That's not, that's not nice. That's not, uh, people are going to think you're crazy, whatever. So they want you to step back and think about that. Think about those things that happened from way back when and let that help be validation for you that these gifts that you are walking into, that these gifts that you have, you've actually had them for a very long time and they started way back in childhood and they want you to st step back and look at it from that perspective and it's going to help you better understand Yeah, it's going to help you better understand how to continue forward developing your gifts. Okay. And you're getting the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is about generational, if it's a money reading, right? About generational wealth, legacy kind of wealth. They're saying 
this is you this has been generational in your family these gifts some of your family members have squashed it they're saying don't squash it walk into these gifts it's it's part of your lineage it's part of who you are the way that this is happening for you is part of who you are and part of your lineage the way that they communicate with you it's part of who you are it's part of your lineage and you're going to be able to take this and pass it down as a legacy in a more open way for years they're saying for years these gifts have been squashed within your lineage because of maybe traditional beliefs or because of fear or different things like that. It's been squashed in your lineage. So they're saying you're the one who's going to bring it back. You're the one who's going to open that or, or, or pierce that veil again, right? So that for generations to come, this is going to be something that is very natural in your lineage for you. That's beautiful. So they said, let's, let's not play the mind games with ourselves step back here's here's how it here's how it lines up in the in the reading how which cards are under which cards so here is your the energy you connected with here's the energy you're currently in where there's a little bit of mental conflict and they're saying the best way to, to defeat that is to step back and look at it from a different perspective go back to to the early years i'm hearing the early years that whenever you had that, whenever you experienced things and different people said, no, you can't do that, right? They're saying this is, this, you will be the one to pierce that veil again and pass it on in your, uh, in your lineage. It's going to be a, a legacy that you're going to leave. Okay. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, thank you again for this Beautiful opportunity to uh, bridge the, the two worlds. Thank you for the messages, the clear and concise messages, the clarification, confirmation, and validation, and the love, light, and prosperity. Along with the collective, their collective ancestors or loved ones on the other side, show us the PS, please. Show us the PS for the collective that resonated with the crown chakra energy, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so it's conflicted. It's that mental conflict again, and they're saying you're not trapped. You're not trapped. Step back and look at your life. Look at the. Look at the. Let your life be. Let your life validate. Let your experiences, your own personal experiences, validate where you are right now in your life. Let those past experiences. Uh, remind you today that okay you're not making this up it happened a long time ago right uh, I'm here in medium like whenever you were little you actually did uh, visit with ghosts people from the other side and what I'm hearing them say is that that you are for whatever reason really conflicted about it and they're saying no you're not, don't be conflicted and don't allow yourself to feel trapped because of whatever um, mind, whatever you're telling yourself that's making you feel like uh, it's not you, that you're not that person or that it's not right for you to be that person. They're saying you're not trapped. Okay, so I love this card and especially because I don't know why I'm getting medium, but and some of you might be, and some of you might not resonate with that, but whatever the spiritual gift is, it allows us to be so generous with other people. It allows us to, uh, you know, this is the Six of Pentacles, which is about generosity and equal give and take, right? So what they're saying is this is going to allow you to give to people on a level that not everybody can give. Um, and I'm just going to tell you real quick, the first time I ever went and saw a medium, whenever I walked out of there, I felt like a hundred thousand pounds lighter. I felt like an entire world had been lifted off of my heart and my shoulders because of the validation and the um, the release that I found by being able to connect with that particular loved one. And I feel like that's what they're saying. You're going to be able to heal people, help heal people's hearts, help move them past that stage. And again, that's for those who are connecting with that word medium. But any spiritual gift, it's the same thing. Whatever the spiritual gift is, 
it's been given to you to be able to share and to be able to to be generous and hand out and I'm not talking about necessarily for free I'm not, I'm not talking about do all your work for free everybody's got to make a living unfortunately in this world it takes money to survive but what I'm talking about is your willingness to step out of your comfort zone and be who you were called to be who your soul called you to be before you ever came here it allows you to be able to um, be generous with other people and their plight in life whenever they because not everybody can tap into those those gifts within themselves but you can you have been already and they're saying no it's not in your mind go back remember when you were younger the temperance card is is they're giving me two different message number one be patient with yourself as you do this but understand the second part is that this this is the transmuter right she is the healer she transmutes energies and that's exactly what I was talking about a while ago when I went to see that medium and I walked out of there I was it was like a whole world lifted off of my heart the weight of the world was lifted off of my heart and off of my shoulders she transmuted my energy just like that and I'm not talking about her I'm talking about the 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 conversation with my loved one the energies were transmuted just like that but had she not been there as a conduit for us I could not reach him I could not get there so this is what, what this is saying is this is part of what your soul wanted to do from the beginning is to come here with your spiritual gifts to be able to tap into those gifts because we all have them but you're but you wanted to come here with that specific idea to tap into those spiritual gifts and help those around you who weren't able to tap into or who were not able for whatever reason to tap into them this is part of who you are this is part of that calling that you set out for yourself before you came here to be a transmuter of energy to take broken hearts and transmute them into joy to um, to take heavy burdens and lighten that load for people uh, those types of things so yeah so group number three who resonate with the crown chakra that is your message so um, I hope y'all have enjoyed this I'm gonna do a PS just for the well no I'm not because not everybody's gonna watch all of them so I guess I'm not gonna do that I did a PS for each one okay let me know what y'all thought about it in the comments and uh, until next time y'all have a super duper day bye